क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in today's video we are going to see a circuit of practical differentiator and why it is used in practical applications but before that we need to understand what are the various problems that are associated with basic integrator circuit so let's see the basic integrator circuit problems <music> In this video we are going to see what are the problems that are associated with basic differentiator circuit we know that gain of basic differentiator circuit is given by a relation gain equals to rf by xc1 as capacitor c1 is connected to the inverting input terminal of the op amp therefore gain becomes rf by xc1 because here the c1 is connected to the inverting input terminal therefore instead of using r1 we are going to consider reactance of capacitor c1 that is nothing but xc1 now when value of frequency is get increase or when high frequency signal is appears at the input as frequency increases we know that xc1 is get reduced as the xc1 that means reactance of c1 is inversely proportional to gain therefore with increase in the frequency gain get also increases to a very high value because of this the circuit becomes unstable and provides oscillations or unstable output at the output terminal of the op amp so this is one of the major problem in case of basic differentiator circuit as the frequency increases gain of the circuit get increase and that causes instability at the output also due to increase in the frequency the high frequency noise also get amplified by the circuit and therefore the high frequency noise also appears at the output along with the output actual output signal so due to this problem we need to use some components or we need to modify the circuit of basic differentiator so that it can be used for many practical applications so let's see the circuit of practical differentiator in the circuit of practical differentiator the two components that require to be added so that the circuit can be used for practical application the two component are resistor r1 and capacitor cf so let's see the circuit diagram first So from the circuit diagram we will come to know that the resistor R1 is connected in series with capacitor C1 and capacitor CF is connected parallel to resistor RF the introduction of resistor R1 along with the capacitor C1 can reduces instability of the circuit even at high frequency because the addition of resistor R1 controls gain of the circuit which depends on reactance of capacitor as gain can be controlled at high frequency so instability issue can also be solved in case of practical differentiator circuit the another problem that is associated with basic differentiator is nothing but the addition of high frequency noise which appears at the output so due to the introduction of r1 as gain can be controlled at high frequency the noise voltage present can also be controlled by using resistor r1 connected in series with capacitor c1 the output equation and the input output waveform for practical differentiator is same as basic differentiator circuit that means if we apply step input signal to the inverting input terminal of practical integrator it provides negative spike at the output if the amplitude of step input is positive similarly if we apply square input waveform having positive as well as negative amplitude then it provides negative and positive spikes at the output depend upon what input we are supplying to the inverting input terminal when the input is positive it provides negative spike at the output and when the input is negative it provides positive spikes at the output because we are applying signal v in to the inverting input terminal of the differentiator circuit Similarly when the sine waveform is applied to the inverting input terminal of differentiator it produces negative cosine wave at the output so all these signals are nothing but the differentiation version of input signal applied to the inverting input terminal of differentiator circuit if we look at the circuit diagram properly the resistor r compound is connected to the non inverting terminal which is nothing but a parallel combination of rf and r1 so we can write rf parallel to r1 which is approximately equals to r1 only the output equation and the operation of the circuit is remain same as the output equation and operation of basic differentiation circuit now let's see the frequency response of basic as well as practical differentiation circuit 
Now let's see the frequency response of basic and practical differentiation circuit. For that we need to consider the diagram first. Now from the diagram we will come to know that FA and FB are called as break frequency. F is called as some relative operating frequency of the differentiator circuit. The range F to FB provides a range of operation of practical differentiation circuit. The frequency FC is called as unity gain bandwidth of the practical differentiation circuit. So from the diagram, we come to know that the value of FA and FB can be given as the frequency FA can be given by relation FA is equals to 1 upon 2 pi RF C1 and FB is given by relation FB is equals to 1 upon 2 pi R1 C1. But in this case, the value of RF C1 is equals to R1 C1. That is, RF C1 is equals to R1 C1. And the frequency FA, FB are in such a relation that FA is less than FB is less than FC. So by using this value, we can determine the range of operation of practical as well as basic differentiation circuit. Now let's see what is the condition that required to be satisfied by the input signal in order to obtain the proper or accurate output at the differentiator circuit. So the condition is T must be greater than equals to RF C1 where T is the time period of input signal. So if the input signal value is greater than product of RF into C1 then we can get a proper or accurate signal at the output of differentiation circuit. The differentiation circuit can be used for the various application like it is used for generation of spike signal or trigger signal at the output. It is also used for production of cosine wave at the output and it is used for producing the output waveform which are differential version of input signal apply either to inverting or non-inverting terminal of the op amp. So this is what about the practical differentiation circuit which can be used in many practical applications like PID controller, communication circuit, then it can be also used in the controller circuit for obtaining various output waveforms. And it is obtained by replacing or by adding certain component like R1 and CF. So this is what about the practical differentiation circuit and its uses in practical application. I hope you understand the topic of practical differentiator. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.